do you want to know? Well, I think it's about you. And I think you'll have to listen. Because... Hi. In my previous videos, we discussed about the global requirements for online learning or distance learning. Prior to the pandemic, I have prepared this video. Now it is becoming a global mass that online courses and online learning is required. That there should be no face-to-face -face meeting with the crowd of students. And I would like to discuss about the the content development for online courses. Development of an online course involves creating modules into digestible pieces. We mean that in online learning, you have to develop content or course content which is digestible into pieces such as module 1, module 2, module 3, so how many modules and what are the topics and subtopics to be discussed for the prelim, midterm, and final. And what is the objectives and learning outcomes per module. And at the same time, we have to monitor and assess the learning system of our students online if it is effective and efficient. We have to identify and make a list of course modules in several ways by content-specific topics or unit-specific. By day, by week, we have the time frame how long shall we discuss the topics in a module? We have to sequentially arrange our module per week, per month, per term, prelim, midterm, and final. Sequentially arrange the module and content. Try to appropriately tag your modules and content module pages in the content section. In step 4, we have to start to create your content module pages. Keep all pages consistent with the same structure, layout, and organization of the content. One of the tips that we can give to content developer is keep the number of modules at a minimum. We have to streamline. Where there are times that we're not supposed to discuss all modules. We have to focus on core topics rather than non-core. And make sure all videos, images, and documents are labeled with a clear title so students will not be left behind searching for the articles. Now, one of the good tips here is to create a module labeled course document to store your syllabus, course schedule, and any assignment guidelines. Adapt a clear, logically organized, and consistent content module page structure including well-named documents that indicate the type of activity, the due date or the time frame, and other required activities. Now this discussion serves as an introduction to the module students are beginning. This is a chance for faculty to explain the focus of the course for that particular time period and this is the introduction or the overview of the course this is an introduction to the module for beginning students 
for them to know and explain the for that particular period. It is important to be brief, simple, and clear about what material and information will be covered and establish the time period, starting and end period per module or topics. The learning goals and objectives. Unlike in the syllabus where the overall goals and objective for the course were prepared or set down. These learning goals and objectives are specific for the module. This include what the student should expect to get out of a particular module. The learning goals and objectives include what the student should expect to get out of a particular module. And we have the lecture notes for students and for the faculty in the lecture note, this can be an outline of notes or the actual set of notes that the students will need to follow along with the activities, presentations, and discussions associated with this time period of the course. It is recommended to also supply handouts. It is also recommended in con for content developers to also supply handouts that will support the lecture note of students as well as the, uh, the lecture note of the faculty. This can be linked to documents related to the module and this can be required items or handouts meant to supplement the module content and activities. The lecture note of a faculty member. Do you want to know?